Hey guys, it's the Chad, and today I think we should talk about the side marker and the side marker lamps on the old 67 to 72 Chevy or GMC trucks. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that GM made a lot of changes to the parts over this six year body style. Well, they usually did this every two years, but sometimes they did it every year. Well, surprise, surprise, the side markers, they were no exception. Now, if you're going for that year or model specific build, you need to make sure you're putting the right ones back on your truck. But if you're just looking for a quick and easy way to update the looks of your old ride, putting a brand new set of these on can really give you some bang for the buck. Well, in today's video, we're gonna go through and talk about all the different side marker options that GM produced from 67 to 72 on these old trucks. I'm also gonna go through and show you some pretty cool aftermarket options that you can put back on here. But before we get too deep, we need to start with a little 67 to 72 GM truck history. So starting in 1967, which was the first year of this body style or the Action Line series trucks, there was no legislation that required any of these trucks to have any side marker or side marker lamps on the front or the rear quarters of the bed. That's why these 67 model years had the smooth fenders and the smooth beds. That was a year specific thing. Now, at some point in 1967, legislation did pass requiring the 68 passenger cars and trucks to have some type of side marker. Now, in 68, that only required the pickups to have a side marker reflector. They would have been amber up front and red in the rear. Now, again, at some point in 68, legislation changed again requiring all passenger cars for the 69 model year to have side marker lamps. Now, that didn't apply to the trucks. That law went into effect January 1 of 1970. But since passenger cars were required to have the lamps, GM went ahead and made this an option for the 69 model year trucks. That would have been RPO code UB3. Now it wasn't uncommon for some of these 69 model years to have reflector markers, but if you actually took those out, you would find that your truck was actually wired for lamps. So if you've got a 69, Pull your reflectors out, reach down in the fender up in the quarter of the bed and see if it's wired. Now my 69, it wasn't. Now somewhere in mid-year of 69, GM came out with their deluxe side marker lamps. These would have been amber again in the front and red in the rear. Now these would have been an option or they would have came on the higher end trim packages such as a Sierra or a Cheyenne. So if I do my math correct, that would have made six different options that GM produced between 67 and 72 for these old trucks. If you guys know of any more, type it down in the old clickety-clack so we all know. So now that we know the history of these old side marker lamps, let's take a closer look at each one of them. So here would be your side marker options on a 68 to 72 GM truck. Now the ambers would have been on the front fenders and the reds would have been on the rear quarters of the bed. Now there would have been a total of six options, but I only have four here. The only difference between these two and the ones that would look identical is these first two are just reflectors. If they were lamps, they would have had a cutout here for the bulb. Now these first two would have been for a 1968 or some 1969s that only were required reflectors. You also could have had these if they were the lamp version in some 1969s through 72s more in the baseline. Now these deluxe versions, they came out in 1969 through 72, and they would have all been lamps. Now if you had an old 68 or 69 that was just reflector only and you wanted to add lamps, if you have these, all you have to do is cut this section out so it'll accommodate a bulb and then wire it up, and then you'll have side marker lamps as well. Now if you take a look at the deluxe side marker lamps, these things stick out really pretty far from the truck itself. Now these are a little bit thicker than the standards. Well, I'm gonna show you here in a minute with a set of aftermarkets how you can get these almost totally flush with the truck. So if you're wanting to stay with that original marker and give it that more flush appearance, you can actually mount these from the backside of the fender or the inside of the bed. I mean, it's an option, a bad one if you ask me, but hey, it's whatever you like. So now we've covered all the original side marker options that GM produced between 68 and 72 on these old trucks. Now there's a lot of aftermarket options out there as well. So let's take a look at a few of my favorites. So if you guys are a big fan of this deluxe style side marker, there's quite a few options in the aftermarket world. Now number one, you could just pull the original bulb out and put an LED in and that'll bright things up quite a bit. 
They also make these with several LEDs across the bottom and the top row. And then they make what they call a Euro style or a clear lens style. Now what's neat about those is you can stick any color or light bulb you want in there to kind of match your truck. Now I do want to caution you, you need to check with your local state laws and see which color of bulbs you can have displayed out the side of your vehicles. Here in Kansas, they can only be amber or red. Now here's probably my favorite aftermarket option. Now I've always loved these deluxe style GM lamps, but I found these guys. Now these are off, I believe, an 85 to 96 GM van. What's so cool about these is the entire thing is a reflector and they're a side marker lamp as well. Now the benefit of these is they sit extremely flush with the panels of the truck, which I do like. Now I'll put a link in the description below of the ones that I picked up. I'll also put a picture here so you can see what they look like installed. Now you can see how flush this style sits against the fender and the bedsides compared to the base or even the deluxe marker. I really like them because again, it's a full reflector and a lamp. So how about a little side marker fun fact? Did you know starting in 1971 that these side marker lamps actually flashed alternately with the front turn signals down in the bumper? Now this would have been the first year for it and it only happened in the front. So now you guys have seen all the different side marker options that GM produced from 68 to 72 on these old trucks. Now if you guys aren't going for that year model specific build, type down the old clickety clack which marker is your favorite. Now I've always been a big fan of the deluxe version, but after seeing these flush mount van style, I'll definitely be doing that on my next build. Now if you guys haven't, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And if I missed any other side marker options, type that down with the old clickety clack as well. That way we all know what they are. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.